Welcome everybody to Juma Private Game Reserve here on the western fringes of the Kruger National Park in South Africa. You are looking at a lovely flap-necked chameleon enjoying the morning sunlight. Hi everyone, it's me Trishala. I've got Owen on camera with me this morning and we're very excited because there was a lot going on last night. So last night we could hear quite a few leopards sawing, well quite a few as in two, and we're going to keep track of their movements by looking for tracks. <laughs> but to start us off, we have this guy who's doing probably what most of the animals are doing right now, which is trying to warm up and get ready for the day. Can you see the patterning? And he's even started to produce some dark patches and dark spots. So those patches that are usually a creamy kind of color on the flank and those spots, those have turned nice and dark. So that's telling me that this chameleon is really trying to warm up. Definitely not warm enough just yet. And by making itself a little bit darker, it's collecting more heat energy. Get it nice and warmed up for the, d for the rest of the day. And like you saw in the Earth Week, clip earlier. Reptiles are a really ancient group. Have been dominating the landscape for a long time. Now not as much, but one time absolutely dominating. can be a trying time for them. So he must have been out of his home out of his herd for a little bit uh, for a little bit because he's he's really very relaxed. Hi Gerald, I'd like to know if elephants ever destroy termite mounds. I mean not really. Sometimes and that's a problem with a big body is that she inadvertently cause damage sometimes. And you might get them rubbing themselves on the termite mound. Sometimes that could break off a few bits. Sometimes if they have an injury in their mouth or they're being a little playful, they can put their mouth and tusks into and over termite mounds, which can cause damage. But it's not something that we see regularly. So clearly we could see it as he was grabbing the grass and cutting it with his foot. And then smacking it against his front side there. That's just to release any sand. And the sand is obviously grainy and that can really be damaging for teeth. And elephants only have six, te uh, six, six sets of teeth to move through in their life. So they have to make sure that they get rid of as much sand as possible before they put it into their mouths. See? There's a bit of sand on that end. I think he's going to drop it. There we go. Look at how strong this termite mound is. She is just enjoying that thorn tree there. And of course, that's the staple of giraffe. They do love the thorn trees, and with good reason. Very fine leaves, very nutritious, as well as um, easy to digest, high quality food. Especially those top leaves especially the leaves further into the bush where the other browsers can't reach. And that's one of the reasons why giraffe have that sort of elongated face and a very long prehensile, very tough tongue in order to get hold of those very nutritious 
new leaves that are growing. And in turn, that is why the tree has thorns. It is to prevent overutilization. But that does not worry the giraffe too much. They'll even eat some of the, the young thorns. And in the case of the vitilias, or what used to be known as acacia trees, those thorns are in fact leaves. They modified leaves. So the young thorns are in fact green. Which means they do photosynthesize at the time until they harden into that white sort of needle-like structures. Excitement, happiness, joy. And here they are, right in front of the car, trumpeting, youngsters, adults. Oh, this is Clo Dam. It's only quarter to nine in the morning, and already the dam is living up to its name. And this is what we come here for. Youngsters are unsure, they need a little prod from mom that it's okay, it's okay to go this way. Guinefowl are not happy, but I'm not sure what they're not happy about. Is it the elephants? Is it something else? Who knows? The Bilderbeast is just chilling in the background as always, watching the elephants. Ah, just love this dam. It's not quite a pool party, but it's definitely a happy gathering. A little bit too cold to get in the water, but still, an elephant party all the same. So, we're we just gonna see. Panic, can you see? Ahaha, look at that! Dun, dun, dun. Ladies and gentlemen, up in the tree we have Shudulu with a Daker kill. Oh, the cub! Oh. <laughs> oh, my word. Hi everybody, she's just brought her cub up the tree to take a kill. We're told that the cub was hidden here somewhere and it just came up now with her. Oh my goodness gracious me, Panda well spotted. I think Panda, you just broke the internet. Now we've been dying to see this little boy. Here we go, from the left. Now this little boy's just cub might need to be a little bit more careful. 
there. Don't play with your food in the tree, little one. Give mum a heart attack. Precious is that. Hey everybody, it is a dead daker. It's over there. It doesn't look too gruesome at the moment, but if kills are not your thing, please do be aware that it's not for sensitive viewers. This is what it was doing before. Didn't know what it was doing. It kept jumping over and then it poured at the carcass and then it just flopped to the floor. I think mum is holding it now. Oh, that's a good lookout point. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that was very cute. And this has been a fantastic safari. It was such a pleasure to share it all with you. And such variety. I enjoyed it very much. Let's have one last look at Captain Reptile. At its viewpoint, looking out, surveying this dam. And down it goes. It's just at the bottom there. There we go. <laughs> it's so nice to see a little one move like this. A great way to end our time together this morning. Thank you so much. Your questions and comments are so valuable and so is your viewership and your time. We'll see you again this afternoon. Bye for now.